My mowing shower valve seems to be leaking internally, because I can hear the water running when I listen closely to the pipe. I can also hear the water gurgling in a nearby basement floor drain. Both sounds stop if I turn off the cold water supply valve that is a few feet upstream of the faucet. There is no dripping or external leakage. This is a one-handle mowing valve that turns on by pulling out and adjusts temperature by rotating the circular handle. What could be causing this? Thanks so much for your help. Welcome to Just Answer, my name is I will do my best to help with your issue. Is any part of your house on a slab or do you have water lines running in the basement slab? Well, our entire basement is a concrete floor, and the drain that I hear gurgling is in that that floor. But all of the feed pipes are overhead in the basement ceiling, I can see them all. The one that I turned off to stop the sound is overhead in the unfinished part of the basement, and I can see that it goes nowhere but into the backside of the bathroom wall, i.e. between the studs. Okay, it's very unlikely, actually I can't think of a scenario, that the mowing valve is the cause of this since you see no external leaks. Water can't get into the drain from the water piping directly. If you can't find the source of this then the first place I would check is the toilet tank in that bathroom. I'd suspect the water is running over the top of the overflow pipe in the tank then down the drain. I turned off the supply to the toilet but both noises continue. Did you check inside the tank? Just because you closed the valve doesn't mean it holds tight. If you can rule out the toilet then I need more info as to where water might be getting into the drain. I'm completely blind here and rely entirely on what you tell me. I can tell you it's not at all likely it's the mowing valve. Yes, I checked inside the tank and there was no water flowing over the top of the overflow pipe. I have now turned off the water again to the toilet and flushed it with the supply still turned off so the tank is completely empty. The running sound in the pipe and the gurgling drain continue. I'm quite sure from the sound that water is running in a pipe, it sounds just like when I am down there in the basement and someone is running water somewhere in the house or through the outside spigot. A very distinctive sound. Also, I have now turned the cold water supply to the shower on and off a few times, sometimes turning on the shower faucet and sometimes not as I cycle through the on-slash-off positions of the upstream supply valve. Sometimes the running water sound is louder and sometimes quieter after I have fiddled around like this. That's why I think it relates in some way to operating the shower faucet. Okay, I've given my opinion based on 40 plus years of experience and significant familiarity with Moen valves. I'm going to open this back up to my colleagues. Maybe one of them will have some input you'll find useful. Please don't respond, even to acknowledge this post, until you get a response from us. If you respond first it will only delay your answer. Welcome. My name is as I have over 20 years of plumbing experience. I will be happy to assist you. Does all of your water still work normally when you turn off the valve that stops the noise? Most likely there is S-Trap primer installed that is failing. This is supposed to drip water into your floor drain slowly and when there is a pressure change in the system. If it fails it can put a flow of water into this floor drain. The valve may be only for this primer. Thanks, I turn off the valve, I get no water from the tub faucet in either the hot or cold position or anywhere in between. After being away from the system for a little while, I noticed that the in the pipe running sound had gone away and the gurgling in the drain had stopped. I then 1. turned off the valve, 2. opened the faucet and turned it back and forth from cold to hot, 
no water came out, 3, closed the faucet, 4, turned the valve back on, and 5, operated the faucet back and forth from cold to hot. The running sound and the drain gurgling resumed. I presume that the trap primer and the faucet are both turned on slash off when I operate the valve, but... Does any of that make sense? So it sounds like the valve controls your tub faucet, and there most likely is a T in this line that feeds the trap primer that has failed. It is not logical to be plumbed this way, but there may have been work done after the construction or it may have always been this way, but it is required that floor drains have trap primers installed so when they are not used for a long period of time the water that evaporates from the non-use will always be replenished with a small drip of water. You may even be able to see the water trickling or pouring into this floor drain if you shine a light down into the floor drain. Now the tricky part is to find where this trap primer is installed. It should be installed in a basement interior wall near the floor drain, and probably directly under the shower pipe. The noise you are hearing at the shower faucet is just noise travel through the pipes from the trap primer running continuously. Hope this makes sense. Jerry. Bingo. I found the trap primer where you said, it has a little window slot where I can see the water actually flowing down into a pipe that looks like it probably attaches to the tub trap. When I fiddle with the system to cause the running and gurgling sounds, I can see the water squirting vigorously. If I fiddle with it so that the running is nearly inaudible and the gurgling stops, the water squirts less vigorously and it turns off completely when I close the valve. There is a hex head on the top of the trap primer that looks like it might be removable. Is it likely that I can open it up and clean it out somehow, so that I don't have to bring a plumber in to replace the entire trap primer? To be honest, I have installed many of these but truly have not taken one apart. If I remember correctly there is a lock nut with an adjustment screw, and yes I think there is probably a removable hex nut, however I do not know how or if this is serviceable. I normally just replace them when they go bad. I could do some research if you like if you have brand name and model. There is probably info about this online. Usually it dosed in number 39, t-pay for us plumbers to mess with them since the replacement cost is close to the same as the labor rate to clean etc. Thanks so much, Jerry. Please don't go to any trouble to follow up on this, but if you happen to know a source of information, I would certainly appreciate knowing it. The trap primer is a Zern TP2920BR1. Thanks again for your help. Your advice has been right on the money. I don't know of any source other than good old Google. You are welcome, and thanks for using Just Answer. Jerry If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.